We are going to work problem 9.30 and we are going to do all the different variances, um, materials, um, both the price and usage, labor, both the rate and efficiency, and then the overhead variances, fixed and variable. So we're going to do all that and we're going to do a little at a time. So the first thing we're going to do is part one, compute price and usage variance for direct materials. So to do that, we need to know our standards, right? So direct material standard is it takes five pounds to make a unit of the fertilizer, all right? So at $2.60. So we're going to look to see first if um, our price was different from what we normally pay, our standard price, which is $2.60. It was our usage difference, right? Do we use more or less than five pounds um, per amount that we make, all right? So let's do this. Pretty simple. Um, the materials price variance, right, is equal to the actual price minus the standard price times the actual quantity. So by doing this, by taking both actual and standard and multiplying by the actual quantity, we're stripping out that flex budget variable of quantity, right? So, so now we can tell, by taking out quantity, we can tell, okay, um, that variance, that the variance we find is due to the difference in the price, right? So, um, that is equal to MPV is equal to 250 minus 260 times 274, right? So that's equal to 27,400. Oh, it turns out to be a dime, so 27,400 is our price variance and our price variance is favorable because our price is lower, right? So when the price is lower, when, an, when a cost is lower, that's um, profit increasing. So remember favorable means we increased our profit. So if it increases um, an expense, that's unfavorable. If it increases um, a sale that's favorable right so so in this case that's favorable because our expense is lower all right next we do the materials usage variance right and to figure that out we use actual quantity minus standard quantity times standard price all right so materials usage variance then becomes what did we use we actually used 270,300. And the standard quantity, um, if we had used five pounds and we made 5,300 units, 53,000 units, we should have used under standards um, 265,000. All right. So 270,300 minus 265 equals our um, variance, which is 13,780, 13, right? And that's unfavorable because we used more direct material uh, than the standard. So we used more than five pounds. All right. So that's price variance and usage variance. So the price variance is favorable, the usage is unfavorable. So now we've stripped out um, the parts that by using actual quantity with the price and standard price with the quantities, we can distinguish between, okay, the, what part of the variance is because we paid less and what part of the variance is because we used more. Alright, so when we come back, 
we will work on the a similar idea but for labor.